Um, the uh, Ke- you know, so on Friday, Kevin did this thing called uh, Kevin's Forums, uh, which are like, oh, cool, you know, he's gonna talk about the forums again, and you know, kind of curious what he would say, and you know, and, and everybody's like, you know, hey, you know, have, maybe I'll have my name mentioned, you know, <laughs> and it's just like, eh, you know, it's always kind of you know neat and exciting, you know, because you know there's a couple thousand, you know, hopefully a million or so uh, viewers of Attack of the Show, so you know, nice to get a, gain a little notoriety. And, uh, you know, the first thing Kevin talked about was uh, the king and queen of the message boards, you know. And initially, what, the way it started out is, uh, you know, what you got to realize about message boards is that it's basically an online community. And it's a, um, you know, it's basically created in the mind, this idea of a community. Uh, and there's the, the virtual representation of that online, which is the web page. And then each person can, you know, create an ad, you know, to this you know, web page, um, their own messages. And, uh, you know, so in a lot of cases, you know, like, and then something else I want to explain about message boards is that what's neat about them is that you can basically have 10 messages um, and then respond to all of them and all in one message, you know, itself. So that's often what I do is that, you know, if there's a discussion or whatever's going on, um, I will respond to the first message, you know, usually, be, you know, come to some sort of conclusion or a point of view. Uh, and then the second message, do the same thing, you know, respond and, you know, maybe change my point of view or change my, you know, statement or explain it better in, in a different way. And so that way, like, I kind of have a, you know, a stream of conscious, consciousness going on throughout my whole message, you know, and that way I'm able to, like, you know, just better define my point and, you know, it really, it helps me. It, it makes me think about, like, okay, well, what am I talking about? How exactly am I going to better explain myself? And in a lot of ways, I think that's a you know, good tool to help me with writing. You know, because if I can explain something in such a way that everybody can understand, and I can just you know realize you know realize this is how I have to explain things, you know, because I can't write the book and then like people complain about it and then rewrite it, you know, that just you know that, that misses the point. It's it's understanding how do people understand me, how are people going to understand me, you know, what sort of you know, and there's also the aspect of like demographic and how intelligent people are. So that's the other aspect is that you have to write in such a way that people will understand you, and they don't have to like you know, refer to a dictionary. But at the same time, you don't want to insult people's intelligence, so, yeah, you can see how difficult that can be. Um, you know, but, like I said, message board is just a, you know, it's a virtual creation in your mind of what it is. And, you know, the personality of each individual, it's kind of, you know, there's a little bit kind of comes through in the writing and how people, you know, act and behave. But a lot of it's, you know, just what you internalize, what you think and feel is this person's personality. Um, and the thing to realize is that, it's it's all your own mental projection. When you meet the person, when you meet people in, in person, you're gonna be you know it, it doesn't match. It almost never matches. You know it you know there's some semblance there's some like core of the personality that you recognize. Uh, but you know you're gonna meet the person, and it's like okay this is how they really are, and, and then you you can actually start putting together the pieces based off of what they write, and it more it helps more define the person. Um, so, you know, whenever you have this, you know, gathering of people, eventually you're going to get to a point where you have, like, dominance kind of take place. And it's basically like, you know, who's recognized for this or that. Um, and, you know, any online community, they're mostly guys, so the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to have, like, oh, you know, if there's a few girls around, like, oh, well, who's the cutest girl? So that's where it all got started was, uh, you know, queen of the, you know, the message boards. And, uh, you know, it was just funny stuff. And um, there was two girls on there that were just kind of, they were the forerunners to begin with. And uh, one was this girl, Roxy, who's from Jamaica. And uh, and actually, I was kind of pulling for her the whole while. Because um, Roxy, you know, beautiful, exotic-looking woman. Um, and But she talks about, you know, being in, living in Jamaica and how it sucks. And how it's like, yeah, you know, people dying and there's crime and poverty. And, you know, and it's like, geez, you know, just this pretty hardcore, you know, stories she's sharing, and it's like, so, uh, but she's very chipper and very upbeat, and, uh, you know, so I really, you know, dug that about her and appreciate it. And then this other girl came on and sang a, you know, she sang a song, but had that playing in the background, it's just a video of her, and, uh, you know, just this beautiful, uh, Hispanic girl in the Midwest, and it's just, you know, so I guess that won everybody's heart. Um, and then, uh, then they turned around and had the king of the, you know, message boards, and I kind of figured that my name would come up, and, you know, it did, uh, but there's a guy, Extreme is who, uh, in Arizona, who does these blue screens, and I was like, you know, 
vote for him. <laughs> you know, that guy's a cool one.